Okay, we have here today another integral from the UNSW integration. Me 2023. This was semifinal round one, problem two. We have the integral of natural log one minus cubed root of x dx. Okay, the first thing I notice here is all we have is a natural log function by itself, which is making me think integration by parts. That's usually how we're going to handle natural log, like if we just had natural log x. But the only thing is what's inside here is a little more complicated. And so there's kind of a few ways to go about it, I think. And what I choose to do is a u substitution. And rather than choosing my u to be this whole thing, but I just instead chose to do my u to be just the uh, cubed root of x. So now from here, if I solve for x, we're going to find that x is going to be u cubed. And if I take my derivative, we're going to end up with 3u squared du. And then I'll go ahead and we'll make the substitution. So first, we're going to end up here with natural log of 1 minus u. And then our dx becomes this, 3u squared du. And now at this point, I'm ready to do my integration by parts. And I do this using the di method or tabular integration. So we'll have two columns, one to differentiate, one to integrate. And of course, I want to differentiate natural log because that's hard to integrate. So we'll differentiate this. And I'm just going to integrate this 3u squared. Now the integral, this is nice because we just differentiated it. So this is going to give me u cubed. And then here, the derivative here is going to be just 1 over 1 minus u. But because we have a minus on the u, we, with the chain rule, we can't forget that we need a minus up here. And so then part of our solution is going to be here on the diagonal. So let's just write that down. We're going to have u cubed natural log 1 minus u. And now this row here is going to be an integral. What I'm going to do, so we're going to have, we have our minus sign up front. I'm going to keep this minus and write it as minus u cubed. And then here we're going to have 1 minus u. And now at this point, this isn't going to be too bad. You could do like polynomial long division on it, but I'm not going to do that. What we'll do is I want to add a one here to set up this piece, but I can't change it. So we'll subtract a one. Now, let me just rewrite this so we can see what's happening. Okay. Now here, we're going to split this into two integrals. So for this first integral, we're going to have one minus u cubed in the numerator. What I'm going to do is we're going to split that up as a difference of two cubes. So then what I can do is I can write this as one minus u and then write it as one plus u plus u squared all over one minus u. And then for the second integral, we have this minus one here. I'll distribute the minus to the minus. And then here we're gonna have just plus du over one minus u. But then we get cancellation here with the one minus u's. This is gonna be power rule. This is gonna be easy. So let's just continue and integrate this. So first we'll integrate one, we get u. So we'll, then we'll distribute in the minus sign. So we're gonna have minus u minus, with this one we're gonna have u squared over two. And then here we're going to have minus u cubed over 3. And then here this is going to be natural log 1 minus u. But because we have a minus on there, I need to bring a minus out front. So we'll have natural log absolute value 1 minus u. Okay, now at this point we're done with integrating, but we have to back substitute. And we have our u value right here that we need in order to finish this thing off. And then just notice we're going to have u cubed in a few places. So u cubed is going to be x. So we have this value here as well. So rewriting this, our u cubed is going to be x natural log. 1 minus cubed root of x. Then here we're going to have minus x. I'm going to write this to, as to the 1 third. And then we'll write this one as 2 thirds, because we have square here. And then here again, u cubed is going to be x. We're going to have minus x over 3. And then this is going to be natural log absolute value 1 minus cubed root of x. But then from here, I'm actually going to just drop my absolute value on this one right here. And the reason for that is because of the original problem, you can see we don't have absolute value on it here. And the input to natural log has to be positive. So this has to be positive. So that allows me to drop my absolute value here. Now at this point, we have the same natural log here and here. So I'm just going to combine these two terms. We have an x and we have a minus 1 here. So I'm going to write this as x minus 1 natural log 1 minus cubed root of x minus x to the 1 third minus x to the 2 thirds minus x over 3 put a plus C on the end, and that's it. Yeah, this pen I think is about had it. It's about it. Okay, good problem from UNSW 2023. We'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.